You know, I said 21 days because I think most of us have heard the adage 21 yes. days to create a new habit. Yeah. I think it's the beginning for any of our habits. We try to change lifestyle changes, and this is no different. So 21 days just gives people a little glimmer of hope. Yes. If they would just read through it for three weeks and begin to implement a couple of nuggets in the book even, but there's stuff that they can grab each day that at the end of three weeks, if they will do these things, um, myself included, I'm not exempt. If we do these things consistently, we will see that our mental well-being is so much better. And we have to make that, that commitment to allow God to do his work, as long as it takes, whatever it takes. And this is so wonderful that you can give people that hope. And I hope that I came across in the way that I intended with respect to the, the 20 day, 21 day time frame, because it really is, as they say, it does take 21 days, three weeks to form a new habit. So if you can get people walking in the right direction, that's that's wonderful. So how do we get started? How do we do this? <laughs> well, you know, there. I, did, I made this so simplistic that people might think, do we really actually need a book about this? And I think the answer is yes, oh, because yes. if we didn't, and we already could do it on our own, then we would all be doing it. We wouldn't have an epidemic in our country. Yeah. So it is simplistic things like um, eating correctly, you know, eating healthy food. I was, I was just saying to somebody earlier today that, you know, our bodies, if we go through a drive through which I'm guilty of doing when I'm very, very busy, I have an awareness that it's going to take six hours for our body to recover from our binge at the drive through And so... I believe that. And so if we make a healthier choice, yeah. then we're going to feel better physically. And literally, you know, the foods that we choose at the drive through has the chemicals and the gluten and whatever in it that it causes a brain fog. Most people don't know that. It literally causes a brain fog. So there's something. Um, being able to get a good night's sleep. That sounds silly, but our bodies rejuvenate themselves and our mind rests and rejuvenates itself and the neurons in our mind reconnect while we're resting and sleeping. So we have to make time and not be 24 seven push, push, push. And then there are other things like taking time to rest, taking, you know, Jesus taught us when he mm. said, you know, I'm going to retreat now. He would minister and then he would pull back and he would retreat and he would take time with the Lord and he would, uh, you know, pray and he would physically rest. And so even the, the busiest of us with our jobs and our families and everything, our ministries, we have to stop and take time to rest mm. or we're going to burn out and we're going to suffer from that anxiety and depression and the all that, that comes with that. 